New tonight, it's anything but politics as usual in Norfolk. A veteran councilman is trying to force a colleague to resign. It's a power play that pits Paul Riddick against a political newcomer. When Councilwoman Angela Williams Graves was elected to the House of Delegates in January, this created a vacancy on the city council. So the panel unanimously voted for 32 year old Danica Royster to temporarily fill the seat. But now that Royster is running against five others for the seventh ward seat in a special election, Riddick is crying foul, saying the millennial member violated tradition. The council allowed this lady to say, well, I want to hold a seat and I want to run as well. This week, Riddick penned a letter to his colleagues on council demanding Royster's resignation. Ward 7 challenger Michael Muhammad, himself a former mayoral candidate, amplified Riddick's concerns. She has introspection into private affairs of the city from the perspective of business development in St. Paul's Quadrant and Military Circle. She told you what you were getting. Right. I don't see what your argument is at this point. My argument is I had a chance to scratch my head and think about it and say, hey, this is not right. In a news release, Royster wrote, she is grateful for Riddick's vote, but we cannot address issues through petty politics and bickering with one another. If she refuses to resign, will you take this matter to court? Absolutely. We uh, are prepared to do what is necessary. Royster says she will not resign, and she has been endorsed by five of her colleagues on the city council, including Mayor Kenneth Alexander. The special election takes place on November 2nd. I have much more information on wavy.com.